What's up guys, MGH here. Welcome back to another episode of my Road to Glory with Bournemouth. Where we left off, we're still waiting to hear back from Bayern on the deal that we've offered for Legion. Three million plus Wellington Silver is not going to be enough, but we thought we'd try it out. We also shortlisted a bunch of centre-backs. We're going to maybe move for one in this episode. Um, but first of all, we've got that stupid, stupid double-header game against Chelsea. One in the league and the second game in the Capital One Cup semi-final. Um, so I guess we just get straight into it at this point. Away again to Stamford Bridge. Hopefully we won't get destroyed again. So Chelsea's lineup is very similar to the one we saw in the last episode. However, Oscar comes in. Costa is starting again. So Higuain, I'm guessing, will come on in the second half. And they've got Pearson out on the left side. A little bit worried about him. He's very, very good. I'm going to try to get off to a better start in this game. We, uh, we really didn't start very well in the Capital One Cup game against them in the first leg. They actually hit the post a bunch of times and things like that, so it was a bit stressful. I'm going to try and stop Piers in there. Wow, good tackle there. Thought for a second the ref was going to give a penalty, but no, it was a good challenge. But here Chelsea come again. It's Oscar on the ball. He's got it to Ramirez. He's going to pass it out to Piers on. He's gone for the shot, but Butland is always going to save that. Overall, though, guys, this has been a much better start in this, uh, in this game. Oh, hang on. Aaron's might be through here. Ivanovic isn't very quick. Oh, God. Try and get that in for Wilson. Oh, God, that was a terrible pass. Luckily, I've got it back. Get the cross in. Oh, it's nice. Wilson! Oh, Courtois again. I hope he doesn't have a really good game. Well, that's a nice delivery to Lachelle. Oh, he's headed over as well. It's all right. We've had two chances in 20 minutes. That's better. Oh, hang on. It's come off a Chelsea defender, apparently. That's much better than what we did before. It's another good cross, but Courtois comes out and gets it. Free kick here to Chelsea. Oscar's gone for it. Oh, my God, Butland. World-class save from him there. Matching Courtois' efforts so far to stop any goals going in in this, uh, in this match. Oh, bollocks. Oscar's in again here. Another save by Butland. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my. Butland again. How many times do I need to say this, guys? He is saving me right now. Look at this save. I'm so glad I don't have Randolph anymore because that would have been, what, the fifth goal already? Right, they've got a corner though, 38 minutes in. It feels like this game is going on forever. But they haven't scored yet, which is always good. And Butland collects it again. What a legend this man is. Well, that's half time. It's been a pretty intense game. And I haven't conceded yet, so I'm pretty proud of myself. They've got some incredible, incredible players going forward, Chelsea. And that man right there has kept them out. Come on, Silva. Yes, beautiful. Over the top for Wilson. It's a brilliant pass. Zuma's missed it. Yes! Yes! Oh my god, after all of this, after all the saves, we score first. The pass here from Silva wasn't the best. Zuma almost got it. And I put way too much power in the shot there, but it's hit the roof of the net. It's managed to stay in. That is an absolutely world-class finish there. Courtois, no chance, mate. And that is 11 goals for Wilson. And we are beating Chelsea in the league. Oh, man, I wish I could have done this in the Capital One Cup, though. I would have loved to reach the final. Here comes Oscar, though. No. Into Costa. No, I couldn't hold on. Oh, for God's sake. Mings was right there. But Costa, he's surprisingly quick for a big guy. I don't know how he does it. Fuck, fuck, fuck. I've been attacking too much. No. Zuma's up front. What the? I've just... <laughs> oh, my God. I was pushing way too hard, trying to get that second goal, and it's gone against me, guys. Chelsea have counter-attacked on all-out attack because their defender's up front. That's the only way they would be up front is to be on all-out attack, and they've scored. Come on. Take on Ivanovic. Hit it. No! That could be my last chance, guys. Come on, one last chance. Please, ref. Please, let me do this. He is. He's playing on. Come on, Marcioni. Finesse it. Oh my god, we've hit the bar. I thought that was it. I thought that was the moment. And there it is, guys. The end of the game. We've lost this 1-2-1. I can't believe my luck. Well, I'm not surprised, guys. Bayern have said that they're not willing to accept the deal. It doesn't surprise me, like I said. And I can only afford another 2 million. I don't think there's any chance that we're going to sign Legion. Because Silva is my most valuable player, technically. Um, and even he, plus 3 million... Plus 5 million wouldn't be enough, I'm sure. So, again, I I'm going to try. I'm going to try again. We're going to go with 5. It's the max I can offer. Plus, you know, being able to afford his wages. If this doesn't go through, we cannot sign Legion. We will have to go for someone else. 
All right, guys, we've now got Swansea at home. I'm really hoping we can do the business here. We've won 2 0. Acerich with the double. It's three points on the board. We really needed that after that loss against Chelsea. And guess who we've got next? Chelsea again. For fuck's sake. And guys, that's it. I'm done. Legion, impossible to sign right now. I just, I give up. <laughs> I give up, guys. I have made, I think, at least six or seven offers now for him. And each one is just turned down. He's way too expensive. He's out of my league, put it that way. So we're going to move on. We're going to try and sign someone else. And the more I think about it, you know, it would have been great to have Legion as my, you know, pivotal right midfielder. He will be going forward and score me goals. Realistically, though, I don't actually need a right midfielder because we have so many good wingers at the moment. Really, I should be improving my defence and I need a centre-back. So I think actually it could work out that I go for someone else who, you know, will solidify my defence. Eric Dyer is still being scouted, so is Rekik and Zuma. Very good options, but I've got the scout reports back on Akure, 78 overall. Umbo, 79 overall. He is six foot four. Look at those stats. He would be incredible. And uh, Kidikez, 77 overall, only worth four million. So we've got some uh, some players that we can actually make some offers for now. The first player I want though is Umbo. I really would like to get this guy. So I'm actually going to offer. Um, ha, this is a difficult bit. Who do I offer? Do I go with Lachelle or do I offer... I'll tell you what, no, I'm not. I'm going to offer Liam Moore. I don't actually... Well, actually, i tell you what. We have Nia Carte, who could be worth millions because he's a regen and they often do sell for a lot more. So I might try him out plus, well, five million. It's all I can afford. Probably won't be enough. Well, here we go. I already told you guys I'm going to be simming the second leg because we got smashed by them twice in a row now, unfortunately. Um, who knows what's going to happen? No, I'm just going to simulate it. We actually get a draw. They should have won. They missed a penalty. The Fabregas Meister missed a penalty in the 74th minute. They could have got a double in one minute there. We're out of the Capital One Cup, so that's that then. Well, again, it's another offer that has been declined. Newcastle aren't interested. Um, they don't want the player, and they don't think the money is enough on its own. So uh, we'll try a different player, I guess. Let's see who else we could offer in this deal. Defensively, it, it probably has to be a, a, a CDM or a centre-back. Maybe we could try Karachan or O'Kane. Um, I don't know. Maybe I should try Liam Moore instead. Plus five million. Unfortunately, Wilson is not happy with his wage, so we are going to increase it to 20,000. It does mean that we've lost 2,500, but that's not too much in the long run. You've got to keep your best players happy, and uh, we'll keep him playing. Hopefully getting more goals as well. Well, guys, it's another target that we're going to have to rule out. And Bo is too expensive once again. We just do not have the funds and we're going to have to move on to another target. However, guys, I have found a goalkeeper that I'm very interested in signing. He is transfer listed, so we should be able to get him very, very cheap indeed. So I'm going to do a straight swap, him for Allsop. I reckon this Vlakodimos, I'm not sure how you pronounce that, should be at least 67 to 70 or so. Let's hope so. Moving on, guys. We're going up against Crawley here. We're at home in the FA Cup. We should win this game, no problem. There you go. Once again, another win. 3-1 this time. Fraser, King, and Silva getting on the score sheet. Although Pogba, not the Pogba you're thinking of, the Crawley Town Pogba, scored for them. Stuttgart were not interested in Allsop, so we're actually just going to offer them money. I'm going to just sell Allsop instead. So uh, we'll offer 200k, or should I do 150? Maybe they'll accept that. But they transfer listed him. Surely they'll just take pretty much anything. Ooh, okay. Now this is interesting. I decided to ask if I could take Zuma or Rekik out on loan. And they've both been accepted. Should we go with Zuma? Yeah, you know what? I'm fed up with going a bit stingy in this series. We're going to sign the better player here. Come to Papa. Oh my God, what a signing. Right, they rejected the 150. And um, they didn't even ask me to make an actual offer of a certain number. So I'm just going to have to wing it again here. And I'm going to go in with... Well, let's go for his actual value. We'll go for 375. And there we go. They've accepted it. So uh, it looks like we're getting ourselves a new goalkeeper. We will put him as a squad rotation player. And now we need to sell Allsup. Deadline day is here. Right. Some big movements already. Muller has gone to Atletico Madrid. We haven't had an offer for Allsup yet, which is a bit of a pain in the ass. I'm looking to... Uh, to actually sell him. Gabbiadini's gone to Fiorentina. masaccio has gone to Inter Milan. Uh, there's only four hours left. I have decided I'm not going to be bringing in any more players. I'm going to save that money for uh, for contracts and things like that because I might need it. But oh my God, Courtois has gone to Bayern. Shame I've just played Chelsea three times. It would have been nice without Courtois. But one hour to go, guys. 
that is it. That's the end of the uh, the transfer window. Deadline day is over, and that will be it. The team I've got is what I'm going to have to try and push for top four. But there we have it, guys. That is the end of the episode. That's what the team is looking like. It's looking a lot stronger now. I know there's no 80-rated players, but everywhere on the pitch, I've got good players. Silva is now 74-rated, by the way, so... I think very soon you're going to be seeing everyone 75 or more, which is really exciting to see. The team is really taking shape. Should have been done a bit sooner, um, but it doesn't matter. We're getting there now, and uh, I'm, I'm fifth in the league right now. So top four is still on. We might get there. We might not. Um, this will be the last video on Bournemouth Career Mode you'll see for maybe two or three days. I'm going to be in Sweden, so sorry about that. There'll be other videos going up maybe, um, but no more Bournemouth Career Mode for a few days. But thank you so much for the support in the series, and uh, when it comes back... Please show your support. We'll get the rest of the season done. And then maybe, just maybe, we'll do season five as well.